Hello everyone. So we're going to be going over the photo select button, uh, which is on the design section, of course, uh, right here. So the photo select button is a great way if you want to upload photos uh, to your app, spe especially if you want to upload it to like the data section uh, of your of App Lab. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can either upload an, a photo locally or you can upload a photo uh, through the data section. Uh, if you're making a chatting app, for example, you of course want to use the data section so you can share the photo with other people. Uh, but if you want to share it locally, then you can, but as soon as you reset the app, it will automatically delete that photo. Um, we should keep in mind also that the uploading a photo on the data section, it will delete the photo eventually. It will have the link still, but uh, it will eventually delete that photo. But yeah, uh, you can make this like chatting apps. You can make it into uh, storing your receipts, for example. Uh, it's just a great way to add photos on your app. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Uh, this is photo select two. I'll go to code and I'll just grab an on event. And we're going to make this local first. So we're going to add the photo select two. Uh, on event and when we do that on event photo select 2 I'll go ahead and go back to design and I'll just grab an image and I will grab the set image URL because we're trying to set an image right here this will be image 2 right here and instead of uh, having URL we're actually gonna just grab the get image URL and we'll put photo select 2 now when we run it, I'm going to go ahead and click it. It will ask the user uh, what image they want to upload on their computer. And you'll actually notice here that it says uh, line 2 is undefined. That's because there was no image preset on the photo select um, at all. Because it's, it was just telling, giving it an empty one. But if I were to click it again, even though it's going to ask me again for the photo, uh, because we did the on event first, then it will allow us to set that image uh what if we want to get rid of this morning well there's actually a another way uh we can go to design we can grab a button instead and we'll just type in change so now we will go to on grab another on event or actually not another on event but we can we're actually just going to grab a uh, button one right here there we go of course, it's when we click change, it doesn't do anything. But when I click image two, I select an image and I click change. Now it doesn't give us an error because we're telling it afterwards uh, to change that image. The order of how you program it is very important. So you don't get that error because there was nothing inside that image at all or inside this photo select at all. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, making a local way to upload a photo, what if we want to upload it to the data section, uh, which is this part. So I'm going to grab a table and I'll just write random, random, and I'll just type in image. So I'll go back to code. And this time we want it to, we'll grab another button and then we'll just write upload not upload upload there you go upload so it'll do the same thing but we'll go grab another on event this time this will be button two we'll go here to data create a record that one's going to be random and image and we will go to get image url that will be photo select two. And we'll just write a console.log saying image uploaded successfully. All right, so I'll go ahead and grab an image and change that. That's how we know we have an image already uploaded. But now if I go to the data section, if I click upload, there you go, it has that image. And you can actually, 
and you'll see here on the debug console it says image uploaded successfully but if you actually go to data and then you copy that and you just click go to it automatically goes to the next page which is your image okay so eventually this link will automatically delete well it won't delete this uh row but it will delete the image eventually so we're just gonna put we're just gonna cram this all on one screen um basically read data okay so this is the the part where we can read the image so i'll click choose and i'll just put x right now because there's no image right now so, uh, this will be button 3. And we will put a read records. Uh, that's random and image, but random. And we'll put if image equals uh, nothing because we let's say it doesn't have anything then we will grab the console.log and we will put no image found but if it does then we'll grab a set image url onto the else part that is image three and that one will be image. There we go. And if I, let's say, let's say there's nothing on this data row, for example, no image found. So I can upload an image. I can change it and that was local. So that means if I were to reset the app, it wouldn't appear at all. But if I were to click upload, it says image uploaded successfully. And if I read the data, uh, there we go. It would have that image. And the reason why it's saying no image found is because it's seeing two data rows. If I were to delete this one there and reset it, nothing on the debug console. It's able to read that because there's uh, it's trying to detect whether there's any or any, any uh, text that has nothing in it. And there was an original one, but now that we deleted that, it just has that data row. And there we go. The order of how you program your code is very vital when using the photo select, because sometimes you might get errors, even though the error doesn't make sense. Uh, but the photo select is a very nice feature if you just want to store a photo temporarily, uh, but not permanently. If you wanted to do something maybe more permanent or maybe longer, I do recommend just choosing an image either through the code or here and storing the asset um, through the upload file. That way it stores it more in a more permanent way. Um, yeah. And remember, of course, with your image, you can always do link to image. I do not recommend using link to image because if that image's owner changes the photo from that link, then it would also change on your app. I do not recommend link to image at all. I do not endorse it, but uh, using just uploading the file uh, from there is more better. Or using just code.org's icon, um, either one would work for you. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching.